Oh, oh wow. can we go look at the giant sponge? <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh, wow. Can we take a little fly what by of that? That is, that oh, is crazy. All right. I told gonna... you the preview looked good. Yeah, but this looks like whoa! Like what? <laughs> monuments oh. seem to have these really massive sponges. Look they at sure that. do. That's ah. why they're monuments. Save the sponges. So this this sort of leafy looking one, this one is called Trita Plura. And I'm still trying to figure out what this lobey looking one is. Looks like a ureted. So it's so like more of a crunchy sponge. Ooh. The Trita Plura is a more of a squishy. <laughs> that looks good. I want to bite it. <laughs> I don't, Sponges I don't are not very tasty. No. I have a very silly with you, before because that's kind of what it tastes yeah. like. I would bite it. Your teeth would not be happy. Well, it might be worth taking it. a sample of the big lobby sponge. I think so. Right, Let's do it. <clears throat> I'm going to move in to get, get you closer. Hey! Ooh. Yeah! Let's go. go. Yeah, I was also questioning if there were shrimps when we were still zoomed out. It's hard to tell. Ooh! Very nice. Get the other one, too. Okay, that was much easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the worms is in the jar. Oh, I think it's it's not a worm. It's a, actually a mollusk. A mollusk, okay. Oh. It's Perfect. like a sponge core sample. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about that. <laughs> it's in there. Come on. Come on. All right, I see the uh, predatory sponges. Like cutting enough. cookies. I think that's enough. <laughs> Little sponge cookies. I'm gonna see what's in there. I'm gonna give it a little juice. We're just gonna keep finding bigger ones and bigger ones, and we're gonna <laughs> more and more impressed. So this is gonna be a big sponge dive. Nice, nice polyopagon. And what kind of roles do sponges play in the environment? Is it similar to coral, or? They're very much like corals. Um, they add additional structure to the seafloor provide habitat for a number of different animals. I'm sure if we were able to cut this sponge open, we would find polychaetes and crustaceans and maybe some gastropods. Do sponges have like a particular lifespan or external factors cause them to um, like this? Well, we can't really age sponges, so oh. we don't know how long they live uh, per se, but most every animal has a lifespan and these ones obviously do. Oh, and this oh, is one that has the little cap on top, or the little... Yeah, this is oh, a yeah, rigadrilla. Yeah. Yeah. Move it back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. sponge. Cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh you can see the little looks guy like inside. Something's, someone's home. There is a, probably a shrimp in there. Thanks for that close-up on there. Yeah. That's also a tall sponge. Oh, that one's a maximalist. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. It's Trevor. <laughs> Whoa, how many crying? Okay, one... I can't. One yeah. too many. I don't think we are. <laughs> yeah. Too many. It's just a lot. <laughs> Gee whiz. So that's a tetroplora oh. sponge, I think. Yep. Maximalist. <laughs> Definitely Thank maximalist. You. Yep. Oh, something's coming up on that's the left. That's a polychaete coming up. Oh, wow. On the left I don't know on if channel go three. Zeus view. That's oh. a pretty big one, too. Oh, wow. That is insane. Oh, wow. They're going for it. Is it going to join the party? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Do you want that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> wow, doesn't look it's very super crusty lively. looking. Can you tell that it looks older just based on the fact that it looks Give it a little, a little here. crusty? Well, it's kind of, yeah, it's missing some of the, that sieve plate. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see that it starts, it looks a little more brown. Yeah. Um, that's usually indicative of the sponge not being able to like clean through the tissue as well. Yeah. And so that's just like little particulate matter that's sticking in there. And uh, when the sponge actually dies, all that stuff just gunks it all up and it looks brown. Oh. So this one is still alive, but it definitely has a brown cast to it. So it might not have as many years left. Whoa. <laughs> that's spectacular. Oh, so that's yeah, we're getting so a view cool. of the difference in uh, surface textures on the uh, concave the front facing side versus the outsides. And that concave structure is to kind of maximize the water flow in there? That, yeah, that's what it's using to try to capture as much as it can. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> squat lobster. This is Munidopsis. Oh, it's like a little, little sponge apartment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did the squat lobsters feed on the sponge at all or it's solely just for shelter? Uh, they don't, they don't eat the sponge. 
There aren't a lot of things that will eat sponge. Oh. Um, except for maybe Levi. <laughs> yeah. It's an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> Keep turning so you get on 040. The commenter said this looks like Stonehenge. <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> yeah. If we saw them all so perfectly many. arranged in a yes. circle, I'm going home. And they're so large. <laughs> like that's. Yeah. Wow. The name for this sponge is a Vena Magnifica, meaning magnificent alien. Oh. <laughs> These are incredibly fun. Look at that. Oh, how cool. So is this a type of Caliphacus, or is it its, its own thing? It's its own, well, it's in the Bolosomini. Bolosoma, okay, thank so you. So it's not a Bolosoma, but it is in the subfamily Bolosomini. Gotcha. That is so cool. And it has these oscula at the back, so the water funnels through the sponge through those. Wow. And then at the other side, it's got an even larger uh, osculum. You can so see it now wide in the oh, upper yeah. camera. It's totally <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> when the sponge stares back. Oh my gosh. And now imagine if there was like, you know, 10 of them. Oh my gosh. Ooh. So I think most of the examples of these that I've seen so far don't have this kind of uh, mango color to them. Coloration can change uh, based on, you know, different chemicals that they might have in their tissues. Oh. This whole frame right here is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's a nice monument photo. Yes. Oh, oh wow. is that more. double stocked or Maybe. are they next to each other? <laughs> oh yeah, they are too. too. Yeah. There's a bunch in the distance too. Yes. Yeah. This is, this is the place. Mm -hmm. Sponge place. There's a lot of these. Sponge Nation. Oh, look at that. I think you can see the out uh, the associates very uh, faintly through the sponge. Oh, I wonder what it's like to have a sponge for a house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably pretty cushy. Right? Honestly, some of these sponges would make great furniture. Oh, look, a really fluffy caliphacus. Oh that is my extremely gosh. fluffy. It's like a lollipop. <laughs> that, is a, that is an absolute unit. Yeah. It's like a marshmallow. Oh, it does. Levi. <laughs> 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 Don't need it. <laughs> it does have a little cotton candy appearance to it, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean it would be it would be soft. I don't think I've seen one that looks quite like this before. Yeah, this one this different species I think from the one we were looking at earlier. It's yeah. like a yellowish color. Yeah. Right? Kinda yellowish. All the little bumpies going but look at that texture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the brown I'm seeing. It looks so. all goopy. Gotta love the zoom on this camera. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It really clarifies things. Look at that. 